Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to a new video. Finally, this is my first video in 2018 and I wanted to give you an overview of my equipment that I'm using for the design work that I'm doing on a daily basis and also the gear that I'm using for my filmmaking. So I want to start out with the gear that I'm using for my design work, which is really simple actually. I'm not using that many tools. I will uh, show you the software that I'm using and I will also tell you about the hardware that I use to create designs for both my freelance jobs that I had in the past and for my new job that I have since the mid of January. So I was using a couple of Macs and MacBooks before, but my like favorite MacBook that I used was the 2015 15 inch model that came with the dedicated graphics card and with all the maxed out settings. And it was really just an awesome product to design, to make video stuff on it as well. But it was such a power horse and I used a lot of the power and I used it basically all of the time to uh, do whatever I wanted. I could uh, play games on it, I could do uh, filmmaking and film editing on it and I was able to uh, work as a designer uh, wherever I wanted to with the 15 inch screen very great so this is what I used in the past. Right now I'm using a 13 inch model, the touch bar model, uh, also quite maxed out stats. I have the feeling that it's not as good as the 15 inch model from 2015 but it's also super, it's small, it's lightweight and I enjoy using it. I will make a separate video about the touch bar though because I was uh, able to use it for about a few weeks now and I gotta say that I'm not really impressed by it. Uh, but yeah, as I said, this will be a separate video. You will see all about that in another video that will come out probably within the next few weeks. I'm also using a couple of notebooks, which is also part of my hardware basically. Uh, I love the notebooks by Baron Fig. They are uh, located in New York City and uh, they sent me a couple of those books. Uh, I'm using them for about two or three years now and I love them. So they have dotted books. They are, lo I love the design basically. For example, this one here is the work and play version two and um, they feature plank sides and also dotted sides. So this is the dotted side and next to it the plank side. And I really enjoy to use both of them. By the way guys, all of the things and all of the gear and so on that I'm using, uh, those products are linked down in the video description. So check that out if you are interested in that. I think it's cool to produce an overview for you guys. And if you need some new equipment, then you can just check the list, buy the stuff you want, and I get a small amount, a small share of that. But you, of course, you don't have any extra costs. So it's a win-win situation. For both of us. I'm not using any special pencils or pens, I'm just using the normal pens and normal colors that you can get everywhere. I'm using a 27 inch screen. Back in the days I was using the 27 inch iMac which also of course had this 27 inch screen but now that I'm using my uh, MacBook 13 inch I of course need an external display and that's why I'm using a Dell 4K 27 inch uh, display. Uh, it's linked down below so you can check it out. I think the screen is really important for the designs. Uh, I love the screen of the iMac. I mean the new iMac Pro has probably the best display out there. Uh, I'm so jealous for you guys who ordered the uh, $15,000 model. Uh, but of course that's super overpowered for my tasks, for my daily life and super uh, expensive as well. But I think it's an awesome product and Apple is really trying to get the most out of their products, especially out of the iMac. As for software, I'm using Sketch. Uh, I'm using Sketch on a daily basis for the last couple of years. I used Photoshop before, but Sketch really helped me to become a better designer, to improve my process and to just get the things done really quick and easy. For prototypes and animations, I'm using Principle and Envision. It comes down to if I want to uh, create a very detailed animation, then I'm going for Principle. And if I just want to create a very simple straightforward uh, prototype that I can hand over to my clients by just sending them a link then I'm going for InVision and I really like the 
platform and the whole product basically the design team and all of the people at Envision basically are putting so much work and so many great products out for us designers uh, right now especially the new studio Envision studio is a software that maybe re will replace both our design softwares like Photoshop and sketch and the prototyping softwares and will like create a mix of both in one app and I'm really curious I will show you scenes of Envision very soon. I already uh, have the early access so I can practice a little bit, test some things out and I will definitely get, make a video about it very soon. Coming to the filmmaking equipment, a lot of you know that I'm using the Sony Alpha 6300 and I'm using it with the kit lens which is the 16 to 50 millimeter. I gotta say I'm recording right now with the kit lens. It's an amazing lens. I'm coming from the Canon uh, photography side and the kit lens on the Canon cameras was really bad. I couldn't really use it, especially not for video content. But Sony created an awesome kit lens, so if you are starting out, just go for the kit lens, practice, uh, try out the things you like and you will then know what new lens, what better lens you will probably need because uh, maybe you will need a telephoto lens, then you don't need to replace your kit lens. I really enjoy it. I like that it has a super, uh, I like that it has a super quiet autofocus and it's perfect for my video stuff. I'm also using the Sony 35mm uh, 1.8 because of the big aperture. I really enjoy using this lens for uh, portrait photos, for any photo that I am producing. Um, but because it's not a zoom lens, I'm not really using it that much for my video content. But it's a great lens, I can recommend it to you. It's not that expensive uh, and it just produces many, many great photos. And I just love the quality of the output, especially because of the big aperture, of course. Very recently, a company called Nightcore, they sent me a USB charger for my Sony. So a lot of you know that the Sony cameras are able to uh, get charged using the USB port of your MacBook or just using any power banks and so on. Right now I'm charging my camera on the go using a power bank of course and uh, that's amazing. So they built this really small product, you can fit two batteries in it and it has a USB cable on the back just right in the body of the product and it has this small display and it's awesome to just put into batteries, charge them on the go and you don't have to care about your battery life because I think the Sony cameras only come with a single battery and not with a external battery charger uh, so you can only charge the battery inside the camera basically and that's why I want to thank Nightcore for sending me this little product and it will help me a lot to uh, charge my camera batteries on the go. My secondary camera is a Canon 70D. Right now with the 70 to 200 millimeter L lens by Canon, it's uh, like one of the best lenses they have. The 70 to 200 is an amazing telephoto lens. It's great for sports, but also great for my video content because in video content and filmmaking, I like to have a little bit of a telephoto look and not that much wide angle look like that like the right angle that we have right now um, and that's why it's an amazing camera as my secondary camera uh, that I also use for a couple of interviews before um, because I like to have different perspectives there and it's just well built the Canon 80D is just in a few details better than the Canon 70D so I'm still sticking with this one it's quite cheap at the moment if you buy a used Canon 70D and the lenses are awesome of course uh, it's just like a crop camera it doesn't have the full format sensor but I still enjoy the crop factor for sports and nature photography as well now let's come to the other uh, accessories that I'm using for video and filmmaking. Right now I'm using the Rode VideoMic Pro which is an awesome microphone, a shotgun microphone for uh, those kinds of videos that I'm recording right here. 
they released a new version of the Rode Video Mic Pro. I think it's called Rode Video Mic Plus, and it's a little bit bigger, a little bit better, but the normal Rode Video Mic Pro is still awesome and it works awesome and like a charm. The only downside is the batteries. They are, they are using these, um, I don't know, nine volts batteries and they are not that common and they are quite expensive. Nevertheless, I really enjoy using this microphone and I use it for a couple of years now. I'm using a Viltrox 7 inch monitor. It's not a field recorder or field monitor, but it's showing me myself uh, and I can get an impression of what you will see in the final video because the Sony cameras don't have a tiltable and foldable screen So that's why I need to use an external screen right now to see myself But of course if you record films uh, on a real filmmaking setting You definitely need these external screens because the two or three inch size uh, screen on the Sony they are just not big enough and you can't really judge if the image is good, if the quality is good, if, the, if your uh, object is in focus and those external screens are really the way to go if you want to step up your video and filmmaking game. Maybe I will buy a field monitor very soon. I don't know guys, I'm still thinking about it because it's another like 500 to 1000 uh, dollars worth of money that I will need to spend for such a monitor and basically all it does is to record a very raw signal. Um, some of them can record them to an external HDD and I don't know, maybe I can do this. Maybe I will try to record it on an external hard drive disk, but uh, the SD card quality is enough for me at this moment. Of course, I'm also using a couple of uh, small details, small screws, cages for the camera and so on. I will try to link all of this stuff down in the video description. Uh, maybe I will forget something, then you can definitely hit me up in the comment section and I will give, send you a link or send you the name of the product and you can just go and check it out on Amazon or anywhere else. I try to like put every detail, put every device and accessory into this video right now to give you a full overview of my year in 2018 because a lot of things changed uh, in comparison to last year when I was using my 15 inch MacBook Pro. I think I didn't have this lens back then and I'm using my Canon 70 to 200 now as my uh, like secondary lens and camera with the Canon 70D. Guys, I also thought about making a live stream on a weekly basis. I will probably do this on YouTube. I'm not quite sure yet if I will do it. Maybe I will start it on Friday. So each Friday there could be a new live stream coming to you. In uh, the German time zone, it will be like about at 6 p.m., uh, which is, I think, about 11 or yeah, 10 to 11 a.m. in New York City, or maybe like 8 a.m. in uh, Los Angeles or something like that. I will also write that down in the video description. Check that out. Uh, if you are interested in these live streams, you can vote on Twitter right now. I will post the link down there and you can show me if you're interested in that, if you would like to see me doing live streams while I'm designing or while I'm showing you a couple of new products, uh, because that's something I will definitely look into. Showing you cool products, um, uh, like trying to find cool collaborations with companies who have products I am using or I will use and which are helpful and great for you as well. So I think this could be a deal that is great for both of us. And yeah, I just want to thank you for watching this video, supporting me. We are about 32,000 subscribers right now, which is so much. There are so many subscribers and that's awesome. That's so motivating for me. And I will try to put out new content very soon especially the live streams that I mentioned already. And I will also try to make better quality content in the future because in the past I made weekly videos, but I would like to try to focus on the quality and not on the quantity. So, okay guys, thanks for joining in. 
I'm looking forward to see you in one of the upcoming videos and live streams. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you liked it, hit the thumb up button down below or look at the video description to check out all the gear. I yeah, just want to thank you and we see us in the next one. Bye. This video was sponsored by Death Mountain. If any of you are interested in learning UX design, Death Mountain is a 12-week design bootcamp intended to get you a full-time job in the industry. You can learn more about this at deathmountain.com or by clicking the link in the video description. Thanks for watching the video and we see us in the next one. Bye!